Time now is 8.06, and we now bring you an exclusive City News investigation that has uncovered more allegations of abuse and neglect at Ontario's schools for the deaf. Dozens of families have come forward sharing disturbing experiences while attending the schools, including one family who says their daughter was assaulted multiple times at her school. And the family alleges the most recent abuse started in 2018 at the Ernest C. Drury School for the Deaf in Milton. That's where their daughter, they say, assaulted by an older student. They also say the school denied their daughter medical accommodations, adding that the superintendent covered up the school's failure to protect her by withholding information from the police. Now, we shared her story with viewers last month, and since then, Dozens more families have come forward sharing similar allegations of abuse and ne neglect. Joining us now live, City News reporter Tina Yazdani, who has been digging into this story. She joins us now. Uh, Tina, these allegations are very disturbing. I think everyone can agree. So let's talk about what, what you've been following today. Good morning. Good morning. They absolutely are disturbing. And the family we spoke with is blown away by the response since our story aired last month. As you said, dozens more families have come forward. They say this is much more widespread than they first believed it to be. And they're saddened to hear that so many other families are sharing these experiences. They're hopeful that by coming forward and sharing their own, that some change will happen. And they are taking further steps to try and prevent these kinds of things from happening in the future. Now, their daughter has been pulled from the school in the meantime. As you said, they say that the school failed to protect her from those assaults. They say they denied her medical accommodations that led to mental health struggles and suicidal thoughts. Here's more from the family. They also wish to remain anonymous in order to protect their daughter's identity. This is way bigger than we thought. We had no idea. No idea. The stories that you've heard are shocking. It's just unbelievably cruel conduct, and we're very concerned for the safety of children. So we're just hearing just a piece of that interview there, uh, Tina, and I'm sure you'll have more, an extensive clip that you'll share with viewers. But sadly, as we've mentioned, this is not the first time that we've heard about these sorts of allegations. What have you uncovered? No, Mel. And so these schools are run directly by the province, by the provincial and demonstration school branch. And this isn't the first time they've been embroiled in this kind of controversy. Uh, in fact, in 2016, three schools for the deaf in Ontario were named in a class action lawsuit. Former students alleging sexual and psychological abuse at three schools, including Ernest C. Drury, where the daughter attends that we spoke with. And that in that case, the Ontario government did settle $15 million was paid to victims at the time. And at the time, families hoped that that would bring about change, but they say not enough has happened. Not much, in fact, has happened since then. So, you know, some families are taking further steps now. We'll have much more from the province tonight in our story, as well as from the family, what they're doing next. It's quite a gripping story and it's disturbing. And it is something that I don't think a lot of people in Ontario really do know about. So um, it, it, it is something that I think is important for for viewers to uh, watch. Absolutely. All right. We appreciate the time this morning. We look forward to the report. That's Tina Yazdani reporting live for us here this morning. Thank you.